Now here's an interesting product from Aperture. This is called the DEC and as you can see it is a prototype number 26. This product was announced I think at NAB last year so obviously quite the work in progress. What is it? Well let's open up this box and incidentally what a great box. Look at this and Aperture always do a a good bit of packaging for their products, but this, you feel like you're going into battle. However, that's kind of beside the point. What is it? It is a lens adapter and wireless control device. So I'll open up the bits and show you how it works, and then you get the gist of it. A couple of bits of paperwork, a leaflet about their products, warranty information, and what they rather enthusiastically call a product manual. It's really just one sheet of paper. Um, in tiny, tiny, tiny print, let me tell you. Aperture, you need to print this bigger. I can't read a font this small. I really can't. It's minute. However, luckily there are lots of diagrams. Um, so I'll put that to one side for a minute. What do you get in the box? Well, the main bit, I suppose, is this, which is your lens adapter. What is it adapting? It takes Canon EF lenses and puts them onto, in this case, micro four thirds mount. There is also a version of this available that goes onto a Sony E mount, but this is the micro four thirds, you can see it there, uh, mount there, and a Canon EF lens on this side. So it is a lens adapter, but it is more than that because as you can see, you also get with it this Jedi lightsaber style hand controller, which is entirely wireless. And with it, you can control the lens um, aperture, uh, the iris and also the focus. Uh, sorry, that one's yes, there's a control wheel here for the iris and that one is for the focus. Got a little display here. There is also a matching display on the lens adapter here. They come ready paired. Um, I don't know how they pair. I, I think it's some sort of Wi Fi type connection. I don't think it's Bluetooth, but I'm not entirely sure. And frankly, I don't care. They talk to each other and that's the main thing. So this sort of handle is used to control your, your lens adapter. Also in the box, you get some cables, which very helpfully they do label here, uh, a charge and update cable, which is effectively a USB cable to charge the device because they've each got little batteries in them, obviously, and also update the firmware, which will be handy since this is a prototype. There's presumably some newer versions of firmware coming along. Then you've got a cable here for the GH series of cameras, the Panasonic Micro Four Thirds. And this is a remote control cable, effectively giving you lank control from this remote. You can see there's a start stop button there. So you can press that and the cable connects the lens adapter into the back of the camera and picks up the wireless start stop and start stops recording. And then also in here, they give you a version of the cable, which is a lank control uh, for cameras that use lank, which I presume is the Sony ones. They're Brochure did mention actually what that other one was for. Hold on. Bear with me. Um, Black Magic Design Series. The Black Magic um, cameras and the Sony E mounts use that lank cable. And then a couple of other bits in the box. Pull this out. Hello, it's not going to come out. Come along. Bear with me. There we go. This, as you can see, is a uh, clamp, which you can unscrew there, clamp it onto perhaps your tripod arm, and then, because it's got the, um, uh, what do you call that thing? I'm going to call it a thing. That thing clips onto there, screws in like that, and then effectively you've mounted your remote controller to your tripod and use it like a remote zoom demand on a tripod. Um, or oh, you can clamp it to anything else, you know, clamp it your finger I don't care finally there is this tiny little adapter here which is to go onto the bottom of your camera if adding this to it means that this sticks out so much that you wouldn't be able to get a tripod plate on now I'm quite sure you're keen to see this in action and it just so happens that I have here a a Canon EF lens this is actually the 18 to 55 millimeter EFS lens. I think this is one of the sort of stock kit lenses you get with certain Canon cameras. It's a, a very basic sort of thing. Autofocus and manual focus. You must, of course, 
switch your lens to autofocus and this whole setup will only work with autofocus lenses because what the little adapter does, you can see it's got electronic pins there, it takes the commands from your controller and feeds them into the lens. So if you had that switched to manual, well then you literally need to manually um, turn the focus. So if you put it to auto, the controller can send the right commands for the lens to autofocus. And then on the other side, yes, today I have the smallest micro four thirds camera in the world, I suspect, but it's the only one I had conveniently to hand. So that goes onto that and that goes onto that. And then you are mounting Canon EF lenses onto your micro four thirds and controlling them wirelessly. So let's take off a few bits and actually put this thing together. Right, cap on there. Where's the little marker gone? There it is. That goes. Hello. Let's do this gently so I don't break anything. Right, that's on there. Uh, take that cap off. And where's the little marker on there? That goes on there. On you go. And as you turn that, that just clicks and then that is the release. You push that little knob in to be able to turn that back. But in the meantime, that is locked. And as you can see, there is now this EF lens on the camera. And you can also see that this extends way below the bottom of the camera. So if you wanted to put your tripod on, you would have a bit of a problem. But ta-da, they thought of that and they provide this little extender, which as it happens, is just, you can see it's just about long enough to cope with this tiny little camera, which by the way is a Panasonic GM1, if you are wondering. Um, so let's power everything up. Camera on. And then the, where's the on off? There is the on off button for the DEC adapter, which as you can see, I hope you can see, has a little tiny screen there and it's giving us a readout of the um, distance and the F stop. And then we power this on. Where's the on off on this? I've forgotten. Oh, there it is. On off. Also has a little screen and the two displays tally in what they're telling us. So now I can adjust the, um, let me, if I move this back a bit, you might be able to see that that's actually, it's very fractional, but it's working. And obviously the further you push this over, the faster it changes the control. You can also give it a very gentle nudge. Now the stuttering noise you're hearing is nothing to do with the controller. The stuttering noise is the stepping motor in the lens. So if you are worried about noise, you need to make sure you are buying a quiet lens. This is absolutely silent. This is absolutely silent. Any juttering and jittering is coming from that lens, both in terms of setting the focus distance, as you can hear there. And also, let's change the iris. I hope that's being picked up by the mic, but you can really hear it's making a hell of a racket as you're changing the iris. Let me also point out that as I change it, and again, I'm not sure you'll be able to see it because we're a bit far away, but as I'm changing that, it's changing the f-stop display there and coinciding it there. So both the camera operator and the wireless operator have an idea of what they're doing. But it really is that simple because now you can have somebody operating the camera and worrying purely about composition of the shot and following around your talent and someone else perhaps monitoring with a, uh, a wireless monitor or, or even a wired monitor I suppose and this thing handheld can be setting the focus and worrying about the exposure and it really is that simple. Now the battery life in the controller is rated at I think it's up to five hours and the battery life in the uh, Jedi lightsaber is rated at up to 48 hours but you know simply enough to plug them in and charge them up again. Now on the side of this controller you've got three little buttons here iris lock A and B and here I am currently at F10. If you press the iris lock button it instantly takes the lens down to its uh, widest open aperture in this case a mere f5.6 and then it doesn't matter how much I scroll the little wheel it's going to stay at f5.6 because I have locked the button if I press it again it releases it goes back to where it was before f10 and I can fiddle with the dial and as you can probably hear it's changing the iris
Now these two buttons on the side here, A and B, allow you to set hard stops, hard limits on your focal distance. So say for example you want to do a rack focus from somewhere here to here, obviously you can do that by using this controller but you run the risk of slightly overshooting as you try to get it right. So before you run the shot what you can do instead is set your first focal point and then press and hold button A and it flashes a little A on the screen to let you know you've done that. Then gently, taking all the time you want, work out where your second point is to get your nearer object perhaps in focus. Press B and it now lights up A and B on the screen indicating that now this controller will only ever toggle you between A and B. So when you're ready to do your, your beautiful pull focus, set it at your first point, press record, pull the knob back, and it doesn't matter how fast or how slow you go, it will always stop at the point that you set as the hard limit on B, or A if you're going the other way. So that's very handy, it means you'll never do that really annoying thing where you're trying to do a beautiful pull focus and you slightly overshoot and have to go back again. So that's quite a neat feature, I think. So there you have it, that is the Aperture DEC, no idea what DEC stands for, Digital Electronic Control, I don't know, make up your own acronym for it. Uh, little lens adapter, as I say you can get one on E-mount as well as the Micro Four Thirds, and then magically control your focus with that, and your uh, iris. If you are going to get one of these, get a quieter lens than this <laughs> terribly noisy thing. It sounds like it's rattly and full of bolts. But you get the general gist. Um, it's not going to be cheap, this adapter. I believe it's not quite on sale yet. It's not going to be cheap, but it is an interesting proposition. You've got to hand it to them. Well, I hope this was useful to you. If it was, please do give the video a thumbs up. Ask me any questions. I can't guarantee to answer them, but I'll put your queries to Aperture if I don't have an answer, and I'll try to get back to you. And as always, thank you very much for watching. If you're not already a subscriber to the channel, do click on that subscribe button as well, and YouTube should let you know anytime there's a new video put up. Bye-bye.